there's the Leroy Redbone fans. He's entered the ring. He's sporting that big bone, John. He hasn't used that, but if he does, isn't that cause for disqualification? Automatic, automatic. If he ever uses it, the referee sees it. Johnny Short tells your fans like it is, and I'm glad to have you here today, John. You do a fine job of commentating as you do refereeing in the ring. Yes, I, I like to do both. I've been at it a long time. All right, fans, we're here with none other than Bobo Brazil in that ring today. And referee Bill Beach is also there. This match is a one-fall, 10-minute time limit from Rome, Georgia at 235 pounds, Leroy Redbone. His opponent from Benton Harbor, Michigan, at 289 pounds, Bobo Brazil. Bobo Brazil, sporting nothing less than a physique that's needless to be dealt with. The bone has to get rid of that bone, and Bobo Brazil's over there to make sure he doesn't. Yeah, Bill, Bill will start his count here in a minute, and he'll have to get rid of it and be disqualified. And now, now Bobo's got it. Oh, my God. Bobo Brazil chasing Leroy, the red bone, out of the ring. He goes out of the ring for refuge. There's Bobo Brazil. He must relinquish that bone, John. It doesn't, it doesn't take much to get bow hot. It certainly doesn't. Bobo Brazil, fans, the king of the cocoa butt. Bobo Brazil. A pleasure to have him on championship wrestling today. He better not take this Leroy red bone too lightly, though because the bone deals out a quick, punishing blow, an effective clothesline also, fans. Bone and Bobo exchanging slaps. Neither man having much effect, but there's that cocoa butt that dazes Leroy Redbone. Bobo staunching his man. In the corner, Bobo pulling at that nose of the bone. That Bobo is dishing out some tough tactics, John. That's unlike Bobo. Well, he, he'll dish it out because uh, Redbone's going to dish it out. I remember about 20 years ago, I disqualified Bobo because he hit me with a headbutt, and I went down like a dead fish. This... This ought to be a real interesting match because Bo's not going to take anything off of Redbone. And uh, speaking of the referee, Billy Beach, he's in his seventh year now and doing a fine job. Bo Bo Brazil asking the referee to ask the Bone, does he give up? Well, the Bone doesn't. He smartly goes to the rope, and that makes referee Bill Beach tell Bo Bo Brazil, break that hold, Bo Bo, before I have to disqualify you. Leroy Redbone, fans from Rome, Georgia. He's in there at a trim, 235 pounds a day. Bobo Brazil, excuse me, Bobo Brazil in that corner taking punishing blows and kicks and boots. Oh, that Redbone's going at it. He's going to town. Redbone choking Bobo Brazil. Brazil down on his knee. He better get up because he's not very effective on that knee. He's half the size he is when he's standing up. Leroy Redbone going at it, fans. He's choking Bobo over that rope. Bobo Brazil better get out of that corner. He better get in the center of that square circle where he's effective. Oh, a big slap to the midsection there. Oh, a forearm blow, forearm, there again. A toss. Oh, that big, big, big elbow. Bobo smartly moved out of the way, John. You're right, Dave. When Bo's down on the mat, he's about half the size he is when he's standing up. And he's not too effective down there. He's not down on the ground, he's not, no. That's where the bone wants to put his opponent, down on the floor. Oh, a big toss into that corner by Bobo Brazil. Bobo again, John, choking away. That's right, he's doing the same thing that Redbone's doing. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Someone must have told Bobo Brazil that's what it's going to take to beat this Leroy Redbone. Redbone down on the mat for the first time today. 
That's right. It looks like uh, Bo's got a legal hold on him. He's got it below. He's got it. No, he doesn't have it on the throat. He's got it on the chin. Not a choke hold there, fans. It's a legal hold. Bill Beach in the ring checking it. John Shorn, referee, outside the ring with me commentating, cluing us in on exactly what it's like to be inside that ring dealing with these monsters of men such as the Bone, Bobby Colt. J.R. Hogg, Dick the Bruiser. Dick the Bruiser's got to be tough to contend with in that ring, John. When he gets mad, he don't care who he throws around. Bobo Brazil. Oh, a thumb to Bobo's eye. That takes the punishment off. That gives Redbone time to get up and breathe with a cocky, arrogant look across his face. Leroy Redbone gives the boot to Bobo Brazil. Now he's digging into the trapezium muscles of Bobo Brazil. Bobo's in trouble. He was dazed with that thumb to the eye. And now he's dazed because Redbone's keeping him down. Bobo Brazil is in pain. He's grimacing. You know, Bobby Colt and, and Redbone and Abdullah and Jerry Valiant, they were called family on TV about two weeks ago. And I'll tell you something. The uh, Redbone's using that hold on Bobo that Jerry Valiant uses, and it's effective. It certainly is. The family, Leroy Redbone, Abdullah the Great, Jerry Valiant, Bobby Cole, it's the family. Bobo better try to trip Redbone. He better get up. He better try to do something. He's in trouble. Oh, he does. He trips Redbone down. Oh, a beautiful move. A tight sweeping move by Bobo Brazil. But that still doesn't give him the time to get up. The time he needs to get up and do some damage. The only one dishing out this punishment in the last couple of minutes is the bone, Leroy Redbone. Oh, yes, he's telling the fans that he's got the Bobo down. He's digging in. He's taunting our crowd today. This is the only way, John, you can have a match and expect to win with a mountain of a man like Bobo Brazil, and that's keep him down. Keep him down, and he got a good shot. But if he gets up on his feet and starts that dance with that cocoa butt, then you're maybe all she wrote. Coco butt spells what, John? Nothing less than destiny. That's right. Not too many people come out of it. Bobo Brazil fan trying to muster up the strength, the courage, the capacity to get up and go. He hasn't been able to do it because Leroy Redbone's been all over him, not giving him enough time to breathe. There, Redbone's taking a, weakening Bobo's leg, weakening that thigh, weakening his knee. He worked on his upper body, now he goes to the lower body. Bobo Brazil's in trouble. There he presses his eyes again. You have to give credit where it's due, John. The Bone is a doing everything in his power, his means, to win this match and do it in a sporting fashion. Whether it's called for or not, he is on the upper hand and he looks like to be in control. Yes, he's in control right now, but don't sell Bobo short. He'll be there at the end. Bobo Brazil getting up now. He's going to those ropes. An elbow to Bone's midsection. It has no effect because the Bone's in shape. That elbow to the midsection also didn't muster up enough strength to hurt the Bone because Bobo Brazil still stays. He still doesn't have all his capacities there. Oh, that big arm to Red Bone's forehead puts him down. That's what Bobo needed, something to daze the bone. Oh, he takes him into that top turnbuckle. Bobo Brazil, the bone goes over. He's down, he's out. He's on the outside. He's in a daze, nonetheless. He's getting back in the ring. There's only one minute remaining in this match. Bobo Brazil better get going if he expects to win. Leroy Redbone made the mistake in allowing Bobo Brazil the time to get up, the time to do some damage. Bobo, oh, there you go, fans. Bobo Brazil's getting it together now. The bone on the retreat. Devastating, the bone down on his back. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Maybe all she wrote, man. That big cocoa butt. Bobo's 
choking the bone. The bone coming out of it, but that's the end of it, fans. It's a draw.